Welcome to Panels and Borders. I'm Dominic, and I want to talk about the news of Patrick Stewart reprising his role as Captain Picard in a new Star Trek series. So I found an article by National Public Radio, and here's the article here. So I'm just going to go through the article a little bit, and then I'll give my thoughts on this news and just a little bit about Star Trek franchise as a whole. So Patrick Stewart is reprising his role as Captain Picard in new Star Trek series. For fans who have dreamed about the return of Captain Jean-Luc Picard to Star Trek, actor Patrick Stewart might as well borrow his character's classic catchphrase and say, make it so. It's a role he hasn't stepped into since 2002 and fans are elated. Stewart said in a statement that it is an unexpected but delightful surprise to find myself excited and invigorated to be returning to Jean-Luc Picard and to explore new dimensions within him seeking out new life for him when I thought that life was over. And uh, so I'll put a link into the, uh, in, in below the video so you can read the full article. And uh, so Picard returning to Star Trek, it's good news. I'm, I'm glad to hear this news. And I think it's something they should have done instead of doing Discovery. Um, they should have either uh, went this direction or done a whole new series that took place uh, into the future and not do a sequel series because um, uh, Discovery is not getting very well received by fans. Uh, I myself, I've watched the first series and um, I, I'll be honest, some of the episodes are okay. I'm, I'm going to give the second season a try, but I wasn't really uh, impressed with it overall. And uh, as for Star Trek as a whole, I've been a Star Trek fan my whole life, and uh, you know the series have been good to different degrees. I mean, the original series and the Next Generation are my two absolute favorites. I mean, that's like lightning hitting twice. And Deep Space Nine is a solid series. Then there's it starts for me. It starts to go downhill with a little bit with Voyager. Then it went really downhill more with Enterprise, and then it's it's been like this progressive downward trend in quality and uh, the problems I have with uh, Discovery are some of the same problems I had when Enterprise uh, was released as something that's supposed to be a prequel I find it doesn't really fit visually very well I kind of had an idea in my head what uh, Enterprise would look like when they announced that show and it came out looking something totally what I wasn't expecting and uh, now Discovery has takes the same mistake Enterprise made but magnifies it because the visual continuity is not there even with the future series and especially with the design of the Klingons, look at their ships and all that kind of stuff. So this series has like all kinds of problems for me and uh, just that the characters aren't very interesting. And uh, it's one of those things like Star Trek is one of those things where it still has a lot of space to tell stories. But if you don't get the right people in there, it's they're not doing it any justice. And it seems like they have people in there that don't really care about Star Trek. And the thing that worries me about this uh, news with Patrick Stewart returning is, uh, well, one, why is he doing this? Why is Patrick Stewart returning? Well, I think one big reason, his uh, days of Professor X are over since uh, the Logan movie. They closed off that character and... Uh, you know, there's, he's not going to be playing Professor X anymore, especially now that Disney owns the X-Men because of the Fox merger. It's going to be a new Professor X. And um, so I think that's another reason he's taking this role. And um, maybe there is something there more to explore, explore with the character. We And this is kind of like an interesting uh, spin on a Star Trek series because we've had prequel series like Enterprise and Discovery. So that's like not a new thing. And then we've had series that went into the future and we have spin-off series. <clears throat> but we have yet to have a series where they have taken an old character from one of the older series and spun him off into his own series. The, they came close with Sulu. They were going to do a Sulu series, but that uh, fell through. They never did it. And uh, But now they're going to do it with Picard. So my only fear is they don't treat Picard the same way they treated Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi, 
where it's a bait and switch. They uh, use uh, the old legacy character, you know, they use the legacy character to get you in there, the character that you love, and then when you get in there, you know, Picard's hardly going to be in the show or he's going to be in the background and they're going to push all these new characters at you that no one cares about and they're boring and dull, uh, like they did with The Last Jedi. And uh, The Force Awakens as well. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out and uh, uh, be curious to hear more news, what exactly the premise of the show is going to be and how they're going to handle it. So that's everything I got to say about this. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section. Are you excited for this or are you uh, worried they're going to ruin Picard like they ruined Luke Skywalker? And uh, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got to say about this video and I will see you at the next one. Thank you to all of my subscribers, and thank you for watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification when new videos are uploaded.